the world's attention tightened the moment Engine AI announced its presentation slot at the World Robot Conference in Beijing. Most robotic showcases are predictable. Sleek service bots, warehouse solutions, cheerful assistants with cartoon faces. But whispers from inside Shenzhen hinted at something different this time. Something heavier, more rugged, and engineered with a level of physical resilience rarely seen in public. When the lights dimmed and the screen displayed a stark, bold label, T-800 Humanoid, the audience stirred. The name alone triggered an avalanche of associations, but any sense of humour quickly evaporated when the curtain lifted. There it stood, a tall, industrial humanoid measuring roughly 1.85 to 1.90 metres, weighing around 80 to 90 kilograms, built not to charm, but to endure. Its exposed mechanical frame made no attempt to hide its purpose. This was a reinforced, heavy-duty platform designed for tasks too demanding for lightweight humanoids now flooding China's tech landscape. A representative from Engine AI, the fast-rising Shenzhen robotics startup, stepped forward. This is our T-800 research platform, he announced, a heavy-duty humanoid engineered for high-impact requirements. He emphasised its role in R&D, industrial testing and competitive robot events, not warfare. The phrase combat ready referred specifically to controlled robot versus robot competitions and stress impact trials, not battlefield use. Engine A, I was firm. This is not a military machine. The demonstration began with a series of engineered tests. On the screen, scenes showed the T-800 being pushed violently from multiple angles, struck with swinging pendulums, forced into grappling-like resistance checks, and tested in fast recovery scenarios after destabilization. Each time, the robot absorbed force through its reinforced frame, corrected posture using high torque electric actuators, and regained stability with a responsiveness that demonstrated its 41 degrees of freedom. There was nothing theatrical, only functional engineering on display. Engine AI explained how the robot's control software relies on real-time balance correction, predictive force response modelling and rapid actuation across its joints. These systems allow the T-800 to maintain equilibrium under stress. However, the company made clear that the robot is not equipped with autonomous decision-making for combat or military tasks. The machine is a platform, not an agent. But public perception rarely follows engineering intent. Audience members murmured as they watched the robot recover from a heavy side impact in slow motion. On social media, scenes spread instantly. The name T-800 triggered sensational headlines, drawing comparisons to science fiction, even though the reality was far more grounded. Still, analysts noted the significance. This was not another service robot designed for consumer markets. This was a milestone in China's pursuit of high-impact humanoids. Machines capable of operating in dangerous zones, assisting in emergency response, or participating in extreme condition competitions meant to push hardware limits. Engine AI's approach differed from many startups focused on soft robotics. Their T-800 embodied strength-centric engineering, aimed at environments where human workers face risk, instability, or physical hazards. But with every new angle of scene, concern grew. If a machine can withstand force, maintain posture during impact, and engage in controlled combat tests, how long before someone proposes uses beyond industrial settings? Engine AI anticipated the scepticism. Their spokespeople stressed that China's humanoid surge, now involving over 150 companies, encompassed many experimental paths. The T-800 represented one such path. Durability, force resistance and dynamic stability, not weaponization. The press conference ended with the T-800 standing motionless under a cold spotlight. Its exposed chassis cast hard shadows on the stage floor and its posture, straight, unyielding, grounded, left a lasting impression. A narrator's closing words echoed over the hall. Whether platforms like the T-800 become essential tools for rescue and industry or symbols of a new technological crossroads depends not on the machine itself but on the direction humanity chooses. As journalists filed out and videos of the demonstration circulated worldwide, one fact became undeniable. 
Engine AI had not introduced a weapon. They had introduced a heavy-duty humanoid engineered for endurance. But the world couldn't ignore the deeper question. When a robot is strong enough for controlled combat, what future roles will humanity eventually imagine for it?